Hey everybody, what's going on? I decided to make this video. I don't really, really know why. I guess it's because I just wanted to like get my opinion out there. Anyway, um, this is what I think of the new Two and a Half Men, which I think it's season nine right now. It's uh, with with uh, Ashton Kutcher has joined the cast. Um, when I first heard about Charlie Sheen getting fired from Two and a Half Men, I was uh, I, w I didn't know what to think. You know, like part of me was like oh that sucks because you know charlie sheen provides you know 98 percent of the comedy on that show and then uh, an another part of me was like whatever i don't really care so anyway like i don't remember when it was announced but when it was announced that ashton kutcher was replacing charlie sheen i was thinking to myself that is like one of the most random choices you know that that they could have possibly made. But at the same time, uh, you know, Ashton Kutcher's, you know, I like Ashton Kutcher. He's, he's cool. He's a good actor. Um, I liked him in that 70s show with Kelso. So I figured, you know, that he would be cool. But at the same time, I was, I don't know, I, I was kind of skeptical of his inclusion in the cast simply because I just, you know, I just didn't think that he would have chemistry with the rest of the cast, you know, uh, Conchata Farrell, uh, Angus T. Jones, um, John Cryer, uh, Marin Hinkle, you know, uh, Ryan Stiles, you know, I just, I just didn't think that he would have the chemistry with, with those people, but still I was super excited for the premiere because after all, I'm a huge fan of two and a half men, huge fan. Um, so the first episode came and gone and, uh, I was left in a state of confusion, I was thinking to myself, is this the same show that I've, you know, that, that, that I've come to, you know, um, love, you know, love to watch and everything. Um, you know, it, it just, I didn't even smirk. I, I, there wasn't even a smirk. There wasn't even a grin or whatever. Um, but then, but then my friend brought up the point, okay, you know what, you know, the first episode, you know, it, it has an excuse to be, you know, not that good because, you know, there's, you know, they're setting up, you know, that, that, you know, they're basically setting up the characters and everything for, you know, for the rest of the season, you know, so, you know, like what to expect. So I was like, okay, you know what? Yeah, sure. You know, I'll give it, you know, like two or three more episodes. And then if I don't like it, then, you know, I'll, I won't watch it anymore. So the next week came and gone and, uh, still, um, the most it got out of me was a slight chuckle. Uh, sl slight chuckle. Um, so anyway, uh, fast forward to this past week, um, this past Monday, um, and again, man, it's just not doing it. It's just not doing it. Now, I understand that, well, I've heard rather that Charlie Sheen was fired from Two and a Half Men because he insulted the creator of the show, Chuck Lorre, I think his name is, Chuck Lorre, or something like that. And... Well, if I was, you know, if I was the, well, actually, I guess I am the creator of NC-17 Productions, you know, that, you know, my, my other YouTube channel, um, you know, so, you know, if people, you know, if, if like, if I hired, you know, you, you know, like take like Nick, for example, you know, Nick, my brother, you know, if I hired him to be, you know, you know, like, you know, like a, like a permanent, uh, like guest star on my NC-17 series or my old gaming series in general, um, and if he insulted me, um, I would, uh, I don't know if I would fire him. I would probably just, you know, the next time I saw him, just, you know, talk, uh, talk to him about it, you know, see, you know, what I can do to, you know, um, get his respect back or, you know, uh, just, you know, just you know, just like talk things over and make sure that everything is good between the two of us. I wouldn't fire him though. Now keep in mind that I don't exactly keep in the loop in terms of like, you know, news and stuff like that. Like for example, I, the, I, the, I never even heard of Justin Bieber until he was on Saturday night live. Um, that's the first time I ever even heard of him. So, you know, and I, and I know, and now I understand that he was popular, you know, way before that. Which he's the luckiest kid in the world. He well, literally. But this video wasn't about him. Um, this video was about two and a half men. Okay, I lost my train. My train. Oh, that's right. Keep in mind that I don't keep in you know in in the loop in terms of news. So um, I'm just going from what I heard, and I heard that uh, that uh, Char Charlie Sheen was fired off two and a half men because he insulted the creator of the show. 
And then um, <laughs> it's funny because I remember hearing that um, when Charlie Sheenan was asked how he felt about the new Two and a Half Men, he was, you know, he, uh, he said something like, good, I'm happy for them. I hope, you know, I, I hope they do well. And from, from what I understand, um, the first episode of uh, this new season of Two and a Half Men, uh, it was watched by like 25 million people, which is pretty good. Um, and uh, it was actually filmed in front of a live uh, audience, which I was shocked at because, you know, people always bring up, you know, you know, like I was watching it. I was watching the premiere w with a friend and uh, he said um, uh, when uh, when I don't want to spoil anything, but you probably have already seen it. When Ashton Kutcher's character of Walden Schmidt um, appeared on the on, appeared on the um on the deck and scared the living hell out of Alan. Um, and, and, you know, the audience was going crazy and everything like that. My friend brought the fact that, Hey, you know, they're probably filming in front of a, you know, of a, a live audience. And then I, then I was like, dude, you know, that's laugh machines, you know, you know, the, you know, the, you know, their machines with, you know, like, you know, like various like laughs, la uh, laughing sound effects, you know, and, um, apparently no, it was actually filmed in front of a live TV audience, which I was, which I was surprised at. Um, but anyway, Let's briefly talk about, I say briefly, but I talk so freaking much. To watch this video is probably going to be like 15, 16, 20 minutes long. Um, let's briefly talk about uh, Ashton Kutcher's new character of Walden Schmidt. So we go from Charlie Harper, portrayed by Charlie Sheen. He's uh, he's like a womanizer. You know, uh, he's he's a whole mess. But at the same time, he provides so much of the comedy associated with Two and a Half Men. So we go from Charlie Sheen playing uh, Charlie Harper to uh, Ashton Kutcher playing Walden Schmidt. Walden Schmidt, uh, he's getting over a bitter divorce. He was trying to drown himself in the ocean. He didn't realize it would be that cold. So um, he befriends Alan in a way. And uh, he buys um, he buys Charlie Sheen's, uh, Charlie Harper's house. Um, he's, I think he said that he sold some website to Microsoft or something like that. And he became like an internet millionaire, a billionaire, or whatever. And my suspicions, my my suspicions, my skepticism was accurate. It was 100% accurate. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, I like the guy. He's talented, but he's not doing it. Honestly, he just he just he just does not have chemistry with the rest of the cast. Now, I think it's been I think three episodes, possibly four. I don't I, I haven't counted, but I'm pretty sure it's been at least three episodes. After the second episode of Two and a Half Men, I was like, you know what? I'll give the show one more episode. And if and if it's still not doing it for me, then I'm just gonna whatever you know. Um, and uh, the uh, the most recent episode came and went, and it's just not doing it for me. You know, I mean, I feel like I'm watching a totally different show. You know what I mean? Like Two and a Half Men. It used to be this hilarious show that I would always look forward to. I still you know look for uh, you know old episodes online. Um, and I actually found them at uh, tvduck.com. Um, you know, it, it used to be a show that I always looked forward to that I, that, that, that I went through absolute hell to try to find some episodes. I could watch this show, you know, you know, it's not on TV all the time. It was on TV, you know, like seven or eight or o'clock or something like that. And now it's like, if I miss next week's episode, then I won't really care. I won't. I mean, it sucks to see what the show has become. Honestly, I think it's gotten one slight chuckle out of me. One. Like, even Bird is not the same, you know what I mean? Like, even Bird is not the same, you know? I mean, you know, she still calls Alan Zippy and everything like that, but she, even she's not the same. Um, Jake is not the same. Um, Alan, he's pretty much the same. And this is this brings up another point. Alan, I feel like now Alan's, like, you know, like the main character of the show, whereas before he was, like, a supporting character. But now, like, Alan's the main character and um, Walden is the supporting character. And I just don't think that Alan Harper should be, you know, the main character of the series. You know what I mean? Like, Charlie Harper was, like, you know, like a perfect perfect main character you know he was he was so hilarious and charlie sheen did a phenomenal job as charlie harper honestly he was absolutely amazing as charlie harper and and now we've got alan and you know what i'm gonna steal a line from i think i think their mother's name is evelyn i'm gonna steal a line from evelyn when it comes to the um because now two and a half men it just sucks honestly it it, it just sucks there is 
I can't think of a single redeeming quality about it. It's just it's just horrible. And and I never thought I would say that two and a half men sucks, but here I am telling you guys that I think the new two and a half men absolutely sucks. So I'm gonna steal a line from from, from Evelyn Harper. I don't remember which episode that this was, but I remember her saying this to Alan. The creators of the show, because reviews for the new two and a half men have been mixed, which I think um is, you know, like is like putting it mildly. Honestly, I think everybody should be pissed. I am pissed off that that, that the new two and a half men sucks. I I'm I'm furious about that. So I think that the show creators should go to Charlie Sheen's ass and kiss it repeatedly and, you know, bring him back. Um, people uh, people can, can bring up the fact that, okay, you know what? Uh, Charlie Harper was literally killed off. His ashes were in this urn. And, you know, they're, you know, all over the living room floor right now. Which I, you know, which I know. But at the same time, um, you know... Uh, I think Rose said that um, that she caught him in the shower with a, with another woman, and then she, and then he accidentally uh, fell off some platform and got run, run over by a train. Well, keep in mind, Rose is a crazy bitch. You know what I mean? And um, the, the the person who plays her, I think her name is Melanie Linksy or something like that. She is she again like everybody. The only person I don't think is is is, is good for their role besides Walden, um, besides Ashton is Walden. Is Ryan Styles is Herb. I, I love Ryan Styles. Don't get me wrong. Ryan Styles is awesome, especially on whose line is it anyway. He's awesome. I love Ryan Styles. Had nothing but respect for the guy, but he's just he just does not play a a, a, a good Herbert Melnick. He just he's just not good. But anyway, um, Rose has been established as a crazy psychopathic bitch, and I and I apologize for my language. I'm just you know I'm just getting getting my point across. So. You know, it could be brought up, you know, Rose is so crazy, you know, that she's, you know, pretending that Charlie's dead and she really has him, you know, like handcuffed in some place in Paris or something like that. Because I think that's where she said that uh, uh, Charlie proposed to her, um, you know, she could just bring up, the, you, you, you know, she could just be pretending that he's dead. And, you know, um, OK, so, you know, OK, so if she's pretending he's dead, then, you know, like uh, if Alan didn't get Charlie's um, ashes, then what did he get? That I haven't thought about yet, I will admit. But it's not too late to bring back Charlie Sheen. It's not. Honestly, this show needs Charlie Sheen. It, 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 there's no getting by it. It needs Charlie Sheen. John Cryer, again, nothing but respect for the guy. I love his portrayal as on Hopper. He is like perfect. I, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if he was exactly like Alan in real life. He is that good at portraying the role. But I just don't think that he has what it takes to carry to, to, to carry the show as the main character. It's just not working out. It's been three episodes, I think, and it's and him and Ashton just do not work out at all, at all. So once again, Charlie Sheen needs to be brought back as Charlie Harper. There's no way around it. The show sucks ass w w without Charlie Sheen. They need Charlie Sheen. Well, if I happen to see the next episode. Yippee. If not, I won't care because the new two and a half men is just horrible. So guys, if you're if you're avid fans of two and a half men, leave your comments down below. Rate, comment, subscribe, spread the word about anti seventeen and old gaming in general. Um to tell, you know, spread the word. You, you know, have a discussion. You know, what what do you guys think of of the new two and a half men? Comment down below and um eventually I'll probably get back to you. Thanks for watching and that's my two cents about the new two and a half men. Thanks.